I love each and every one of you. See that word right there? Family? Let's go. Family on three. One, two, three. You kept fighting, and that's what it takes. You know I love the seniors from last year. I love you guys a whole lot more. And I think we can go a whole lot farther because you know we have, we all love it. We genuinely love each other. At the end of the day, um, I am so proud of the way these boys carried themselves, this particular group of young men. Um, I've had some teams in the past, you know, just from freshman to JV. Of our, this is one of the hardest working group of boys we had. And they genuinely liked one another. Yeah, you get the occasional, I'm not talking to him because, I mean, we're, we're around each other for scrud. An hour in the morning, hour and a half in the afternoons, we have a class together throughout the day. We're around each other more than we are with our families. I mean, I know these kids really, really well. Um, I just, I, I'm super proud of how these boys conducted themselves. We had some dog fights this year where it could have gone south in a hurry and their adversity was tested and there was never any finger pointing and that's the thing I'm most proud of this group of boys. They stuck together, they were actually a family and they, uh, they, they worked well with one another. Learning how to depend on one another is a big thing. Um, you know, if they're fortunate enough to go off and, and uh, you know, be in a relationship where they're having to depend on that spouse, there's some give and take that you've got to take in every relationship. Um, depending on somebody is a big thing. Facing adversity and how you deal with situations when they aren't going your way, I think that's a, that's a good quality that we, you know, kind of expose to these young men. In basketball, you can have that one player who's better than everybody. In, in baseball, you can have those you know, two, three, four hitters that you know, just carry a team. But in football, it's the ultimate team sport. You have 11 guys having to perform everybody's part in, in, you know, in one sequence and everybody doing their part in order for you to be successful. You get one guy who doesn't pull their weight and, and it, it could all go for nothing. I always, I always explain to the boys, special teams mostly, it's we're all in a boat and we all have our, our, our fingers on the, on, the, on the cork. You know, you don't want to be that guy who pulls the plug on the boat and sinks it. And that's, that's ultimate, football's the ultimate team sport where you're relying on everybody to do their job in order for you to be successful. are awesome but when you miss practices that's when you know you got a good group of boys and I genuinely miss being at practice with these kids and uh, you know just get the back and forth with one another so yeah and uh, no it was a good group of dynamic group of boys they loved one another they were they were genuinely a family they call each other brothers I tell them I love them all the time they do the same and it's it's, it's just a good group of kids man Right now that the season's over, I'm just going, what do I do with my days? I just like, I miss being around. Oh.